In this podcast episode, I regrettably and erroneously referred to the late Mr. William Hurt as William Hunt. I was thinking of re-recording a new podcast, but after hearing it, I thought that it contained really good, valuable information that I wasn't sure that I can recreate in a different recording. So we decided to keep it. Very sorry of the misnaming of such a great and famous actor and rest in peace, Mr. Hurt, and enjoy this podcast episode on advanced prostate cancer. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Dr. Geo podcast. I am your host, Dr. Geo where it is my goal to share with you some of my research, insights, and lifestyle tools on how you can improve your urological function and live better with age. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into bone metastasis, advanced prostate cancer, and we're going to look at what that means. And this is going to be in memory of William Hunt, the great American actor, William Hunt, who seemingly passed away from prostate. Now, we don't know. What I keep hearing is died from natural causes. We do know that in 2018, he was diagnosed with advanced prostate cancer. At the time, there was already bone metastasis. According to his son, he was suffering from excruciating pain towards the end of his life. I don't know that he died from prostate cancer. I do know that he had advanced prostate cancer. And according to his son, it was from natural causes. So I'm going to give you a general overview on advanced prostate cancer and bone metastasis. There are numerous categories to advanced prostate cancer. It's not just, okay, the cancer that had spread. When a man gets a prostate biopsy and that biopsy result shows, let's say, a Gleason score, anything greater than eight, that is considered advanced prostate cancer. If a man gets prostate cancer and then gets their prostate removed and under the microscope, there is positive surgical margins, extra prostatic extension. There's evidence of cancer in the bladder neck, seminal vesicle, positive for cancer, pelvic lymph nodes, positive for cancer. All these situations are considered advanced prostate cancer. In extreme cases, bone metastasis can cause excruciating pain. I'm talking about nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. If prostate cancer metastasizes and spreads, Sometimes it doesn't, and oftentimes it doesn't. But if it does, the primary site of where prostate cancer will metastasize is to the bone. Oftentimes, the pelvic bone, bone of the vertebrae, or the rib bone. Does bone metastasis from prostate cancer always cause pain? The answer is no. So what do you do for pain as it relates to bone metastasis from prostate cancer? Of course, most People that come see me, they want only natural approaches to their cancer. Are there natural methods to relieving pain? Absolutely. So many of the patients I've seen with bone metastasis with mild to moderate pain treated naturally very well. I give them high dosages of curcumin. For example, curcumin is a botanical from the turmeric root, which is a very strong anti-inflammatory, has shown to help with pain. I've given willow bark. Boswellia. Boswellia is a natural anti-inflammatory botanical. I don't know that it helps a lot with pain, but in reducing inflammation, it helps with pain. Probably the strongest botanical in Chinese medicine is called Corydalis, C-O-R-Y-D-A-L-I-S. Very powerful painkiller. I like ginger, you know, so ginger and curcumin are actually cousins in terms of the botanical world. They're very strong anti-inflammatories. And I think ginger is phenomenal. And some of these may even have anti-cancer properties. Acupuncture works very, very well for pain that's related to bone metastasis from prostate cancer. Taking cold showers. So cold is a natural anesthetic. So dipping yourself in cold might be very helpful. Again, you want to talk to someone before doing these kinds of things. The next thing I want to talk about is exercise. So most oncologists and medical practitioners would say, don't exercise because we don't want to risk a bone fracture. I could not disagree more. 
there's way more benefit from physical exercise in men with bone metastasis from prostate cancer than there are side effects. If you look at the scientific literature, what they do suggest is physical exercise, both weight-resistant exercise and aerobic exercise in situations with bone metastasis. Physical exercise is medicine for advanced prostate cancer in men with bone metastasis. The next question should be, if I exercise and my physical pain from bone metastasis is tolerable, if I exercise, will it, my physical pain get worse? And the answer is not necessarily so. It can actually probably stay the same if not get better. And again, a lot of this is based on the research that I've seen and people that I've talked to. If you're listening to me today, and let's say you have low-risk prostate cancer, I don't want you to become a hypochondriac because I know you. <laughs> I know you well. Tomorrow, you'll wake up with back pain and you say, oh my God, I heard Dr. Gio's podcast and I think I have bone metastasis and that's why my back hurts. It doesn't work that way. Do not catastrophize. If you do have advanced prostate cancer or have bone metastasis, advanced prostate cancer, that's not a death sentence. Keep optimistic. Keep your values in check. Make sure you do more of the things that are important in your life. Make sure to eat well. Make sure to exercise every day. Take the proper nutraceuticals. Sleep well so that you can recover and enjoy life. Enjoy life. Not for any other reason, but because you should be enjoying life anyway. And it's one day at a time, and it's not a death sentence. You will have very good quality of life as well, even with bone metastasis. So rest in peace to William Hunt. And for the rest of us who are still here fighting a good fight, keep fighting, thrive, don't only survive, and stay the course. This is Dr. Gio signing off. I'll talk to you next time. Have a good one. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of the Dr. Geo podcast. You can watch all episodes of this podcast and much more by subscribing to my YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash Gio Espinoza ND. If you love what you heard today, you can help by leaving a five-star review of the podcast on Apple and Spotify as each review helps us reach more men who are serious about improving their urological health and how to function better with age. And for the latest research and actionable takeaways in the world of men's health and integrative urology, sign up for my newsletter at drgeo.com. I'll see you next time. And now for a brief disclaimer, this podcast is for general information only, and we're not forming a doctor-patient relationship through this medium. The use of the information and all links associated with this podcast is at the listener's risk and is not to replace medical advice from a physician or a healthcare practitioner. Lastly, thoughts and opinions related to this podcast are my own and may not reflect the views of any institution or organization I'm associated with.